Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and most of them have links, so check that out. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna be notified of new videos, hit the notification bell. Okay, this has got to be one of my, sorry, we were tie-dyeing yesterday and well, I didn't wear gloves. So this has been the number one question number one comment on the pictures with the petals like this is I can't get mine to do right. How much alcohol do you put down? How much, um, you know, PCIs your blower, you know, it's people are having trouble with it. And I want to go through and really try to explain step by step in detail what I do. I hope this helps, and um, the picture I'm doing is not going to be really a picture. It's just showing you samples of how I do the petals and explaining what I'm thinking while I'm doing the petals and where I'm wanting to go with them. So, I will do all that. Now, this, this is number nine. So, this is my ninth video. The video I'm making right now is my 100th video so this was a long time ago this was seven months ago what henry yeah so you need to go you need to come here <sighs> okay i <laughs> just thought i'd let you say henry for a second so yeah, this was number nine. I'm on 100. 100 is so exciting. I didn't think I'd be here. And really the only reason I was making videos is because I would forget what I'd do. I wouldn't know how to do it. I'd go back and do something. I was like, I don't remember. I don't know if I black out. I don't know if I go on a trip. I don't know what to do. But I don't, I don't hang around long because I don't remember what I do. That's why I started and it went from there. So making the curves... I'll show you how to do that. Making the kind of frilly edges. I'll show you how to do that. And this is number five. This is number five. Obviously, I hadn't got any better at filming because I was out of frame. Um, you can see how I ended up with the little balls at the end and this one I curved pretty good this one I did I yeah it was terrible so I, I look back at this and went gee <laughs> um in all reality that's pretty but this down here stinks what are you doing okay maybe if he just sits in my lap I don't know you gotta quit so this is what I used to do. So if you're doing this, that's okay. Because apparently you go through the steps. You got to learn and practice with it and just do pedal and pedal and pedal. Quit trying to make a picture. Just do pedals. Then you get those pedals down. Make any picture you want to. All right. You're at a weird angle. I do get it. And But this is the way I can get the closest to the paper. Get it a little bit of an angle so you can see what I'm doing. Because if not, you're looking directly above. I think my hand gets in the way. So, I am going to use uh, Senorita Magenta from Pinata because when it's dry, it's a different color than when it's wet. So, you're going to see the drying parts. You're going to see it um, go from wet to dry. Uh, yes, wet to dry. And... Um, Hopefully you can tell what I'm doing. So, let's start here. I'm going to put this down. And I've got the Revlon. This is what I use to dry. And that got a little too big. Um, I should have jumped right on it with my dryer. I don't like them to usually get that big, but... But I had to show you my dryer, so it got that big. That's all right. We're going to do another one. Um, 
in my little bottle here, I have that much. I have very, very little, a fourth or an eighth or something, just enough that it's a, it's, it definitely covers the um, bottom, but it's not much. If this was full and I'd go to do this, it'd shoot out or it would drip too many. I want to drip one, not two, or, I mean, yeah, two, one or two, but no, not five or six. I don't want too much to work with. So I've found that if I don't put much in it, it doesn't shoot out for me. All right, first thing we're going to do is a simple straight pedal. We're going to put a drop down. We're going to start blowing. I'm going to start back here. I use mine up and down usually. Rarely do I do it like this unless I just want to go ahead and get it. And I'm not worried about um, the ends of it because it's either going to be a card and I just want this part of it. So I don't care what goes on down here. Um, I rarely do that. Usually I always do up and down and I work real slow like this. Now some people do it blowing away. You know, I thought something just happened to my, my thing. So, some people do it away from them and come this way. That tends to make a wider pedal. So, if that's the look you're going for, that's how you get that, is you tilt it away and then work toward your ink. This one I'm doing straight up and down and working toward. I wonder if I could tilt this and you can see a little bit better. Is that better? Okay, one drop, straight petals. Now, when I do have a circle, it's not this big, but when I do have one, I start my one row at the bottom, then I do another row in the middle, and I do the other row at the top. That's generally how I will get a bunch of petals. Instead of starting at the top and working all this ink down and then not have anything to work with on my later ones, and you can always add more, but... I typically one, two, three stages there. Okay, one drop. Starting back here. Now, I'm not sure why this is going weird like this, but that's okay. Keep going with it. Pick a side because we're going to cover that up. And I hate that happen, because now it's like, now what do you do? So, but we're going to keep going, because this happens during pictures. That was two drops. Now, at this point, you may just need to go a little faster. So, I'm going to turn this, because... I'm going to start from here. If you do have it split, then either keep going or pick one. And then your other one, you know what, let's finish this out because I want you to see how when this happens to you, because that's a hot mess right there. So I'm just going to scoot up a little bit, put another drop down, and I'm going to go back over. An area and I'm stopping because I want that end to dry up now I will have to say sometimes humidity will play a part in your ink because of the alcohol and where I'm at We've got humidity. They need to, instead of summer, they need to just do humidity season because we have it. So, let's play this out. So, we don't like that. Don't start over. Keep going. Put you some drops up here. Now, I'm wanting it to shoot through, but it's still split for some reason. It hit that. I kind of tilted toward it. Not all the way but a little bit because I wanted it to shoot over this. This will still influence it here. And I want to get past that, so I'm kind of 
kind of forcing it to go past it and it's still influencing it and I'm gonna say that's probably humidity and I'm at a window so yeah but that's okay because we are going to work through this we're going to figure out what we got to do and those first few petals don't worry about they're gonna get covered up and so I want you to, to get the idea of this and how sometimes you lean it toward it other times you back up off of it yeah I don't know why all that's happening and you know I kind of wonder too if I've handled it and maybe have lotion or something like that on my hands that could although I don't run across that often um, pay attention to that though I don't think that's this. I think it's humidity, but it may be user error. Okay. See, I haven't moved yet. Now I'm going to start moving with it. Yep. Do you see those beat up? Humidity. That's what happens. They beat up and they start having these little rolly ball things. And see how much I'm moving with this? Yep. See that right there? Now, I don't really want it to show up, so I'm going to work it kind of back and forth. And I'm going to stay off here to the side until it dries. Yeah, I moved it. Okay, humidity. Now, something you can do in that is get a Q-tip. And as it starts blowing, dab it up real quick, but keep blowing, and then it finishes out. So keep those in handy. Okay, so that is our straight petals. Like I say, usually I always use one drop. So let's do that again. We'll put down. Now, I don't usually use this to, I usually put black down. And what happens with the black is the uh, pitch black, it, it stays small. It doesn't spread out like this. Um, so I think that's why I use it first. I always, just about always put that in the base of my flower. And then whatever color you put on top of it stays in those boundaries. So they don't usually spread out like this. All right, now I want to show how we turn. I'm going to do one, and then I'm going to show you with a pencil how you want to get in line and move it around. Okay, so I'm starting out straight. But now I want to turn. So look how far I'm working around. I'm staying in line with where I want it to go. Okay. So let me show with my pencil. So I'm wanting to go this way. So I'm staying like this. So I'm coming at it like this. But as soon as I start to want to turn it, see, I'm going like this. I'm going to have to come all the way around and get in line and then come at it like this. So I hope that made some sense. It's like pushing a buggy 
from the front of it, you know how you have to swing around? That's what you have to do here. So I'm coming like this, and then I'm wanting to turn it so I swing around and get in line with where I'm wanting it to go, like that. That takes some practice, and it really takes some practice when you're going opposite. Um, in this one, in my droopy one, that one, this one's called If My Heart Were, were a Flower. Um, this is about a week after my mom passed in April. So I had to get this one out of my head because it was bugging me. So I went ahead and painted it. But to go this way was really difficult. I think this was probably, I don't know, I tried a couple times. I can go this way. Going this way is a little odd for me. So... Just keep that in mind too when you're you're working and the ones that come to the center like this, that's what I do on them is I just kind of swing around and guide them back to the center because this one, I didn't want it to come out like this. I wanted to go in. If you're wanting it to come out like this though, you're going to have to swing the other way. So, yeah. That's all the good stuff. So let me do this a couple more times and hopefully you can get a visual on what we're doing. And I did, there's one where I did a circle all the way around like that. And I just kept taking the petals around and made swirls. So you can keep going around like that. And so you just have to swing around. It feels really awkward at first. But just keep practicing. Just keep practicing making, the, making it go into a bend. And you'll get it. Then you can do all kinds of stuff. My whole point in doing these videos, because I don't, I don't do the best work around. I don't do. Sometimes there's stuff's not even pretty. It's just I want everybody to learn the techniques. You learn techniques, you can do anything. Because there's definitely artwork that is so much prettier than mine out there. And I want to help you get to the point you can do it. So learn the techniques. And it will take you all over the place. Alright, so that is the curves. Now, what I do want to show you. And of course when I want it to happen, it doesn't happen. Is the little frilly ones they're kind of fun because you just go at it you don't have to go real slow you don't have to be real peculiar they're a lot of fun and they're pretty there's people that are make beautiful pictures and the whole outline of the petals are just wiggly and pretty okay let's see it helps if this is pretty good um, PSI maybe 30 or 40 but again mine's only 20 or 25 and you can still do it with one of these you just want to go kind of fast now those I let sit and kind of dry so they're rounded so let me do one where I don't let that happen. So I go back up and I get those. And 
And these you may not can do just that one petal. You may need to come back and hit some of those um, wet edges that it leaves. Like that. This one definitely is a faster pace one. And it's a lot of fun. Especially if you've got a color that splits into different colors, like the pinata black. And can you see the little fanciness that makes? So yeah, you want to keep going over that. Now this is usually a picture that the ends are not fantastic. But if you can do that as your picture, see how cute that is? So this is how to do frilly ones. It took me a long time to like this because I felt like I was just messing up until I realized, yeah, it's kind of pretty. And if you're flustered or just want to work out some energy, this is great. So that is how you do the frilly ones. So I hope this helps you a little bit. And sorry. Uh shows you some different ways I can't say enough don't put much in here um, go slow to make these and one drop of alcohol until you kind of learn it or decide you want bigger petals or longer petals or something then I can put a couple but most of the time it's just that one and it usually is enough and it usually works so play a little bit, have fun, don't have expectations. You Somehow you seem to uh, get farther when you don't have an expectation. You just kind of go, well, cool, I did, I did that. And you might do that and not for the next two or three times and then do it again. You're getting it. You'll get this. It's not, it's not hard. It just takes a little practice. So y'all go have fun and I hope to see your beautiful stuff. Okay, of course I thought about one more thing. So, we didn't address this little guy. Some people don't have air guns, and surprisingly, this won't work exactly, but, you know, it gets close. So, let's look at that. Okay, first one I'm going to do really slow and show that you can do the thinner petals. That's a little bit of a wide one. Let's do a different one. One drop. That's terrible. I get that. One drop. <laughs> I can't, can't turn this. Okay. I do better this way, so <laughs> I'm having to move it. So you can get kind of, you know, kind of. But hey, if this is what you have, go for it. Now, I do want to show you this. This is fun. Do it kind of harder. 
and just keep overlapping them. Now what I do is I blow once and then go on the left and right of it. So it won't do that. So see, a lot you can do. It isn't exactly like the other, but I wanted to include this in this video because it's all about learning to make petals and uh, flowers and things. So there you go. So there's two ways you can kind of do the softness and or you can kind of get the crazy and frustrations out and do those. Okay, now we're done. Y'all go have fun.